I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Oh Lord, I cannot do without you. I cannot do without you. Just like I told you, gang on and go again. The mouth in Abia. I mean, not only mouth. I mean, my rice, I mean, my chicken, I mean, my salad. Rice and stew, very, very well. Plenty. So I'm an awesome. Open the rice, rice Sunday, give you rice Sunday now. Amen. I put the rapport. I devote my physical and spiritual gene food. That is help from a bowl. She ain't gonna go like. Amen. So you know, I'm not gonna My tribal My fuel atorium on to here. Mandy Cacatorium on to here. Mandy Boss atorium on to here. My flight ticket, I got a roll more than a home. I never got it for a two thousand. I got a buffer. He believed it. After everybody got it five thousand early painter in December, I got a market. If you believe that, shout hallelujah. Listen to me. You are not even a survival of the fitness. How many need your feet? You buy. Did you hear that? If you are not fit, you do what? You go and meet your world creator. But now, God will empower you today. Because Tinubu will not stop you from becoming what God has destined you to become. Circumstances, situations, economic condition. All right here now, you cannot even limit you. You, are, you don't believe what I'm saying. You don't believe what I'm saying. I, I, we are, I what I back. I couldn't do by you. From now, you will enjoy life more than before. The, the harder the situation becomes, the more better it will be for you. Amen. I'm prophesying to somebody here. I don't know who that person is. The tougher the situation becomes, the better it will be for you and your family. Yeah. I'm a member as a prophet. You will not suffer. I'm going for that plan of the devil to beat you in suffering is destroyed. Amen. 
Nigeria to you will not miss any of your meal. The Lord will prepare a table before you in the presence of your enemies. Listen to me. Between now and the next three months, you can be a sponsor of the gospel. You will sponsor the gospel. I don't know. This program must be for one person. One person. God said there is somebody here who is going to turn the situation around. God will take you from nobody to somebody. Shout hallelujah. Somebody here, not everybody. God is ready to help somebody. Yeah, bro. You are going to sleep a, a, a poor man and wake up a very wealthy man. In Jesus' name. Let us let us see that. I have a burden in my spirit that God will empower somebody. So much burden. When I didn't call me, I will mad in my GCC when I will mad. And I have been crying unto God. I want God to erase people. If I own all the people, because it must not be everybody. I want God to raise somebody. And, I, and God will raise that person Amen. today. Amen. I am here to tell you that this program, I don't know what will happen that will lift you from nobody to somebody. Amen. So that I will outreach it, so the person will, will write it off. This year, programs will be like close to 4 million naira. Close to 5, 4 5 million naira. Both revival plays and all the programs. Without the God, they chose your man. Without the God, they chose your man. Ego is very important in the things of the gospel. So, ego is not about him as a child of God. Ego is not about man number one, baby, say, with the ego. The devil is not about him, but ego is not about him, but baby, say, make him with the ego. So that the man thought, the man could do me with taking care of it was your man. You may not understand. You have a level. It's no longer the time of Jesus. No. The Bible says, I wish above all things that you will do what? Prosper. And be a what? In hell. Even as your soul what? Prosper. I'm going for prosperity goes up, you know. We're not going to seek it. If you always do so what? Prosperity. You may not do it like that. Open you always so prosperity. You move physical prosperity. And your health are different intact. You will break it into chinekes. So God cannot keep you in poverty. Are you getting it? Although that's not what we are going to talk about. God, out of burden in my heart, said I'm going to raise somebody among you that will be a, an encouragement. When Pastor Divine was preaching, he talked about encouragement. When God wants to help you, God will do what? Encourage you. Encourage you it means strengthening you. All I have to give God will now strengthen you and help you to be able to do it. I need the help. You need the help in your family. I'm going to read a place in the Bible, Jeremiah chapter 1. I'm going to start reading from verse uh, 4 down. And then we are going to stand up to read the scripture. All over the Bible, wherever I got water. I will go here because now here I go here to honor back in me. Here I go here to make him honor back in Are you ready to read with me? Are you ready to read with me? Except if you cannot stand, but if you can stand, stand and open it. Jeremiah chapter one from verse four. The word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Behold, or before I found thee. In the belly I knew thee, and before thou comest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee, and I ordained thee a prophet unto the nations. Then said I, Ah oh Lord, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say no. 
out, I am a child, for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. And whosoever I, and whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, says the Lord. Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord said unto me, Behold, I have put my words in thy mouth. See, I have said, I have said this day, I have this day set thee over the nations and over the kingdoms to root out and to pull down, to destroy and to throw down, to build and to plant. Moreover, the word of the Lord came unto me saying, Jeremiah what seest thou? And I said, I see a rod of an almond tree. Then said the Lord unto me, thou seest well for I will hasten my word to perform it. And the word of the Lord came unto me the second time saying, what seest thou? And I said, I see a sitting pot and that the face thereof is toward the north. Then the Lord said unto me, Out of the north, an evil shall break forth upon all in the all the inhabitants of the land. For lo, I will call all the families of the kingdoms of the earth, says the Lord, and they shall come, and they shall set everyone his throne at the entering of the gates of Jerusalem, and against all the walls thereof round about, and against all the cities of Judea. And I will utter my judgment against them, touching all their wickedness, who have forsaken me, and have borne instead unto other gods, and worship the works of their hands. Thou therefore guide up thy loins, and arise, and speak unto all, all that I command thee. Be not dismayed at their faces, lest I confound thee before them. For behold, I have made thee this day a defense city, an iron pillar, and a brazen wall against the whole land, against the kingdoms of Judea, against the princes thereof, against the princes, and against the people of the land. And they shall fight against thee. You are not reading with me. And they shall fight against thee, but they shall not prevail against thee. For I am with thee, says the Lord. Somebody shout a big hallelujah. hallelujah. I'm not going to go so far today. Because now, we are going to deal, we are going to have a, we have a lot of things to do. After this program, your level will change. Physically, spiritually, and otherwise. First of all, we're going to start with the spiritual aspect. Because for anything to happen in the spirit, in the spirit, physical, it must first of all take place in the world. In the spiritual. I'm going to just summarize what we have read here. Tomorrow I will preach. I'm not going to preach today. I will have so much burden in me. We are suffering because we don't know who we are. Jeremiah said unto the Lord, the word of the Lord came unto Jeremiah and said unto him, Before at Toy Megi, I know you. Before you were born, when even you before you were conceived, I know you. When God was saying this to Jeremiah, Jeremiah was a nobody. Nobody knows Jeremiah. Jeremiah was as ordinary as you are looking at me now. God told him, before you were born, before when you are still in your mother's womb, I do what? I know you. And I have I ordained you in your mother's womb, a prophet unto the world nation. But why is it that you are not what God has ordained you to be? Jeremiah 
ihe chineke choko oburu ma no mo unu na afo nne ke mere ero bu gine onye mo akwu ko si ebu amo yo zibu obi do mewi ihe ihe ji maka we mu a ma na jeremiah e to go buru okuru bia ma na jeremiah kabu o nobody 